season. In our attempt to outline the meaning of science, we hit upon something that is more than science, its basis and goal. These define the course and direction of scientific work, yet they are not themselves scientifically demonstrable. They become known only in the light of philosophy. The basis and goal of science are essential. Without them, science has no meaning for us. Since our chief consideration here is the idea of the university, which is characterized by the spirit of scientific inquiry, we must limit ourselves to a few seemingly dogmatic remarks. Spirit, human existence, and responsive reason make up the all-inclusive context of our lives. Spirit is the potentiality and power of ideas. Human existence in its fullest sense signifies our serious and unconditional commitment to the search for transcendence. Responsive reason is the mind open to the intrinsic meaning of things. Spirit lives and moves wherever our striving for clarity is a striving for fullness of insight. Without ideas, there is no such insight. Ideas impel us from within and at the same time beckon to us as the goal we can never reach. Ideas unify and systematize study and research by furnishing us with hypothetical constructs, themselves only approximations to the ideas themselves. Spirit is the power of creative intuition. Without imagination, science remains sterile. Such imagination enables us to see what is essential and real, to understand from within that which lies below the surface, and to make this available to scientific study. What I call human existence is the firm commitment that supports our whole intellectual existence. Without such commitment, all we experience becomes a play ball of hedonistic contemplation, irresponsible theorizing, and an empty aestheticism. The meaning of what we do eludes all attempts at formulation. It becomes manifest only in our innermost beliefs. Only the seriousness of our personal resolve can allow ideas to become effective in our lives. If it is the function of mind to consider only entire contexts and configurations, the function of existence to base our lives upon an absolute commitment, it is the function of reason to keep broadening our horizons. Reason opposes isolation. It seeks coherence. To this end, reason requires consistent and correlated, not arbitrary or haphazard thinking to bring out contradictions to integrate every isolated thing and thought. Reason makes us seek the kind of understanding that comes from personal experience. It breaks all barriers, overrides all inhibitions. Reason gives credit where credit is due and in this fashion preserves the essence of whatever it contemplates. Spirit, personal commitment, and responsive reason make us aware of the broader context of achievements and possibilities in our lives. It is this context which gives meaning and vitality to science. This explains the secret whose presence makes itself felt everywhere, that what is decisive in science is not manipulative reason and tangible output alone, but a more subtle factor in addition. This is present in craftsmanship and personality rather than in specific results. Spirit, human existence, and reason are the foundation of the scientific outlook. They are the philosophical elements within science, even though they never are explicitly acknowledged. Their presence is felt at the frontiers of science. It is these three which can make the passion for knowledge into a passion for genuine Socratic ignorance. This ignorance is not the conditional kind which recedes as knowledge advances, but it becomes apparent in its full depth precisely as knowledge advances in clarity and scope. Philosophical ignorance accompanies the presence of philosophy in all the sciences. Thank you for listening to this audio recording by David McCarricker, published by Theory Underground. This work has been placed in the public domain because of its importance. I hope that you all enjoy this during your holidays in its small daily doses, like an advent calendar. And that if you are intrigued to hear lectures on the topic of the idea of the university, then I hope you will consider joining the course that I am leading with Brian Weeks and Ann Snellgrove, the three of us, all educators, interested in the idea of higher education and a kind of learning environment that cares about the freedom of individuals to be able to research what they find most interesting as opposed to what big business or political partisans 
think you ought to be researching. I'm going to actually show you all really quick what the website looks like. So you go to theory-underground.com. Make sure to register with the website and then go to courses right here. You can also go to events and get to it that way. And then right here you see Mikey teaches Zizek for they know not what they do. That's a class that kicks off in February. We also have professional managerial class consciousness that's kicking off at the end of January. And I'm teaching that one with Elton. And then the idea of the university right here. All three of these are courses that you can add to your shopping cart and choose to take if you want. But the idea of the university, if you click on it, if you're not already logged in, then this is what you should see. Click take this course, click add to cart, view cart, and then proceed to checkout. Oh, one quick thing, don't forget, I guarantee the verification email will be sent to your spam folder. So if you're going, I tried to sign up with the website, I registered and everything, I just didn't never get the, I never got the email, uh, don't worry. It's in your spam folder. You just have to find it, and you might not be able to find it from your phone. You might have to actually sit down at a laptop. I'm sorry. It's not always as easy as giant mega corporations make it when you try to do stuff underground. So go for it. Try it out. Let me know if it works. Okay, bye. So anyway, that's how you do it. I hope to see you there in the discussions on the Zoom chat, but also in the forums where the real conversation will hopefully be taking place on the website. Anyway, everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Take care.